Well, dirt track racing has been around in North Dakota for more than 50 years. And as the sport continues to grow, it's impossible to not look back at those who have been there from the very beginning. Our Lou Gamble has the story of a veteran driver who has turned many laps across the state and is from far from slowing down. Locked in and buckled down tight. It's a routine Dean Brecht has been going through since 1970. I liked uh, fast cars and uh, I was young and it looked like a fun thing to do, so that's that's how I got started. Though he hasn't raced every season since the 70s, Brecht has more than 40 years of experience behind the wheel. And at 73 years old, he's likely the most veteran driver you'll find at Dakota Speedway. The main goal is to win, I guess, but uh, I guess we're just glad we can still do it and we're able to make it to the racetrack and still still do it. By we, Brecht means himself and his good friend Roger, who's a former driver but has served as Brecht's crew chief for about the last 20 years. I'm going to check right now. Okay. He's got ideas and I got ideas. Sometimes we don't see eye to eye on the ideas, but uh, we, we get along. Brecht has been racing in Mandan since 1990, winning the first ever street stocks feature race and being crowned track champion in Dakota Speedway's inaugural season. You know, back then there was only a couple classes of cars they raced, and now what did they have, about five classes? Uh, it's just grown, you know, all the classes have grown. Breck says the sport has changed a lot, from the way cars are built to the age that the drivers get their start. But as for him and Roger, the final checkered flag is far from being way. I guess as long as we're both able to do it, we still have fun doing it. And, and if you can beat the young guys, that's uh, all the more fun. <laughs> Reporting for KX Sports, I'm Luke Gamble.